ladies and gentlemen, here is the big puncher from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Please welcome James, the assassin, Tennyson. Good right shot there for Tennyson. <laughs> and Tennyson's power has traveled to lightweight, and he's in trouble here, Gwyn. He's hurt. And the fight yeah! starts, and James Tennyson yeah! turns it all around. And he becomes the British lightweight champion. And having become a European and Commonwealth champion, he now adds the Lonsdale belt to his impressive resume. Gavin Gwynn was a real tough lad. He's a massive heart. And we got the win. And like, like you say now, it's just, just need to get that world title to fill the, for, to fill the final gap. Relax. I was supposed to fight, yeah, on the 31st of October. Um, we were training away, everything was going great, and I uh, contracted COVID. Um, so obviously, you know, I had to self isolate and take all the necessary precautions. And then, you know, obviously it set me back a few weeks, so, you know, the team worked hard, they got me a new date, and, you know, now we're, we're in a, a world title eliminator. With moving up the lightweight, you know, I'm a lot stronger, fitter, healthier at the weight, and I'm a heck of a lot more confident. It's not, a, it's not an opponent that can take lately, you know, he's coming over here, he's full of confidence, and we're, we're both ranked in the top 10, and we're putting it on the line, you know, he's coming over here with, with an unbeaten record, I believe, you know, I could take that on, and, you know, it's going to put me right in line for a world hitter. It's, it's the Americans, you know, they're, they're ones that are spoke of being, you know, top of the weight. You know, I feel if I keep going the way I'm going, you know, I, I'm going to be one of the top names up there soon, you know, and that's what I want. I want my name to be matched with the top fighters in the world at lightweight. Like the lightweight division is one of the hardest divisions, you know, in boxing, historically always has been. So to be, you know, a top 10 world ranked fighter at lightweight, you know, it's no easy ride. Well, James is probably one of the few boxers in world boxing at the minute that has a proper real record and always wins, losses with the failures that have came along on the journey and made him stronger. You know, many boxers crumble and disappear. There's many, many boxers in the world that are, you know, completely padded, you know, the, when it comes to the real crunch, the foot, you know, the feel, the fall. You know, Dravante Davis, he was out, you know, he made a big statement. Um, Teofimo Lopez, you know, he shocked the world, made another big statement. Um, Devin Haney's been out and, you know, he got another great win. So, you know, I believe it's, it's down to me now to come out and, you know, make a big statement and put my name out on, on World Boxing and Light With. Do you want me to talk about my accent? <laughs> <laughs> From New Lodge, New Jersey. <laughs> You're at it. James Tennyson, he's one of the hardest punching boxers in the history of Irish boxing. So these guys don't intimidate him whatsoever. He, he's been in the game a long time. He's had over 100 amateur fights. Like, he respects all his opponents, but he's not intimidated by no one. He, when he goes in there, he, he's under the wind no matter who's in front of him. Nice, champ, nice. That's good. That'll do. Do you want me to speak Spanish? <laughs> Come stars, amigo. Would you be in? I'm not to be at Through his whole career, even in his early stages when he was fighting journeymen, he was knocking journeymen out that other fighters never knocked out. And that's why we knew he was special. And, you know, as his coach said, he's never ever been sent out to knock anybody out. It's just came because he's got that natural ability and the and natural eye, speed and timing. You know, if he sees a clean shot, he'll take it. And, and it's worked 23 times. Eddie Hearn is, um, and Mark Dunlap uh, has managed him so well. And Eddie Hearn has done a brilliant job. I've got up the world title fight, but it's no surprise for me or James being, being knocking on the door of world title fights because at the end of the day, you know, he's always had that ambition to become champion of the world. And I'll not be surprised when that happens. James Tennyson, you know, 
he's not called the assassin for nothing. He's sent out to do a job. He does a job and he does a job in style. I'm not really worried about my opponents. I'm just going to go in, um, be me, be dominant and let them worry about me.